Hey there, what's going on, Leo? How are you? Leo, my name is Antoine. I want to welcome you to your love and romance energies for the first 10 days of September of 2022. Uh, messages for all placements of Leo, including the Leo lover, if you're in the house. We're going to start things off by using the Golden Soulmate Oracle in combination with the Golden Twin Flame Oracle. And then we'll clarify using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So let's go ahead and get right on into it, Leo. Energies for you for love and romance. First 10 days of September, September 1st through 10th. For Leo, love and romance. All right, Leo. Okay, hold on. Hold on. And then under the deck, we have true love. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Don't give up, Leo. Your person, your person is out there. The person that's meant for meant to be to you, meant to be for you, your true love, your soulmate, twin flame, however you want to think about it. That person is there for you. They're coming. OK, this is a message for the first through the 10th. So, you know, maybe somewhere in the beginning of September, you may meet this person. Maybe even really, maybe at any point in September, really. But just hold on. OK, that person is there for you. I feel like some of you may be feeling like you're maybe wanting to give up on a situation, whether it's the fact that you're single and you're looking for love or, you know, you're in a relationship with somebody or maybe you're in separation with somebody and you're holding on for this person to come back to you. Hold on. OK, there's a reason. That you're having those feelings. Okay. This person is definitely a soulmate. Maybe you're just in separation. Maybe you're just taking a break. Or maybe there is a particular reason that you feel like you need to be able to hold on to this person. Even if you're not together right now. Okay. You're still in communication with one another. Maybe the both of you are still healing from other situations. You know, sometimes... We even get in situations to where it's like we heal, but we have to heal separately and then we come back together. You know, there's so many different things that could tie into this. But what I do see here is that you're holding on to the idea of being with someone, holding on to hoping that you and someone can either reconcile or that you actually find what it is that you're looking for in relationships, period. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue with uh, clarifying this. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. What is the energy here for Leo? Let's see. be the last one. Mm, the Knight of Cups. Is that two? Oh no, it's just one. All right, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, Six of Swords. Okay, I see. The High Priestess. Mm-hmm. And then the King of Swords. Okay, so listen, I feel like you're at a distance. Oh, yes. Okay, you're at a distance from someone right now. And it's, it's. let me tell you something. I don't know, maybe the whatever your person does for work, they may be in the military or maybe they're someone who travels a lot for work, flight attendant, bus driver, uh, you know, what have you. Anything like that. Anything that keeps them away. Okay. Um. This is you staying two nights here is definitely communication of promise and uh, stability. OK, um, I do see here that there, there is the, an energy of maybe you possibly going out there to be with that person. Um, 
that you're just having to wait for something to get stable first. There's something this is this feels like it's already planned. OK. It feels like there's already been a strategy here. All right. Um, and so that's definitely worth wanting to hold on, uh, wanting to, um, you know, make sure it's like, you know, you guys stay connected. OK. Um, and this this high priestess here is letting me know that it's like it's deeper than just, you know, uh, or, you know, just oh we oh we go together or we're trying to be together like that. It's like this is like a real spiritual thing for you. You know what I mean? Um, so this is actually really quite deep, Leo, really, really, really deep. This is where some of you are like maybe making plans in your future to where right now you guys have to be separated. But it's for the adventure. It's for the ev in the eventual future meant or in the plans for you to come back together. Even if it's hard to see that right now, even if it is like in a way to where it's like y'all actually did break up. It's like, I feel that there is a feeling of you both are in like a healing phase and come this time, there may be an energy of you guys linking back up and may be willing to re-explore the idea of being together again. It's so beautiful. Okay, um, I feel like there's been like some sort of oath or some sort of value placed in like, I'm going to expect you to come back to me. I'm giving a certain gift of my, I guess, fidelity to you until you come back. Um and then there's like this nine of corn energy. It's like, <clears throat> it's like in a way you kind of give single energy, but, um, but you're really not interested because you already have stock in something else, you know, you know what I mean? But you are going about just living your life regularly, um, whatever that means to you, but you already know that you're waiting on this to happen. Okay. So it's like, you're not really even trying to give or invest Anything to anybody else, you're already vested in something else. That person is just not with you in the moment. Mm -hmm. And you're going to continue to remain fair and 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 and, and be and and and, and be. Uh, you're going to continue to remain fair and like be monogamous. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be equal. This person is also going to do the same thing, as well. Like everything that I just said about here, it's ending all in the six of pinnacle, which means that it's equal on the other side to that person. Okay, because that's the communication that y'all have between one another with the two knights. Okay, and then we have the page of swords. All right, so let me tell you something. Trust me, with the, <laughs> the page of swords and the um, high priestess here is letting me know, like, listen, like Leo, trust me. Um, just, they trust you, but they still keep their eyes out. You trust me. They stick out their eyes and ears to the streets. Okay. Because, you know, they trust you, but you know, and, and then, you know, you're doing the same thing too. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's not just blind trust. It's trust, but I still got questions. Okay. Oh, yes. Look at there. An offer extended. Oh my God. That is so beautiful, Leo. <laughs> You may be dealing with the air sign. I mean, a water sign, Pisces, Aries. Why did I say that? And Pisces, Sag uh, crap. Cancer, Scorpio, sorry. Brain fart. You may be dealing with a water sign. You may also be dealing with a strong earth sign individual. Maybe that's why I was saying all that. But anyways, let me know what's going on in the comment box below, Leo. Okay? Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it and value it. Make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all the next time, okay? Take care. <laughs>